We are following an NBC 26 storm alert. We have a winter storm warning that remains in effect for the entire viewing area until about midnight or so. As far as wintry precipitation is concerned today, you name it, we got it. We had heavy snow, we had heavy sleet, we had heavy freezing rain, and we even had a drenching freezing drizzle earlier this morning and last night. Here's a look at Storm Shield radar showing that mixed bag of precipitation making its way across the viewing area from the morning through the afternoon and now this evening. Although the mixed bag has come to an end, it's been replaced by just snow. It's mainly light, but there are some pockets of heavier snow mixing in. As we head through the next several hours, most spots will pick up around another inch or so, but range from a dusting across the south to two inches farther north. So snow overall ending as we head deeper into the evening. The winds are really going to start to pick up as the big storm pulls away. That means we'll have some blowing and drifting snow out there. Hazardous traveling will continue throughout the night into tomorrow morning as all that slush starts to freeze into a block of ice. I would really suggest getting out this evening and taking care of the driveway and the sidewalks because if you don't, it is going to be a block of ice tomorrow morning and very difficult to move. Here's a look at why you need to get out and take care of the snow and sleet <laughs> this evening. We've got frigid air moving in. There's a wind chill advisory now in effect for the entire viewing area. By tomorrow morning, wind chills will be dropping into the 20s below zero. Frostbite and or hypothermia are possible if precautions are not taken. Right now, we are looking at widespread 20s. It is 28 degrees in Manitowoc, 29 in Sheboygan. We're looking at 25 in Oshkosh, but you can see the beginning of that colder air starting to work in from the north and west. Right now in Green Bay, it is 26. We have some light snow, although we've had some bursts of moderate moderate to heavy snow during the last couple of hours. The winds are relatively light out of the northwest at only seven miles per hour. But once again, those winds will really start to crank up later on this evening. It is 25 degrees in the valley. Storm Shield radar once again shows snow continuing to fall across most of northeast Wisconsin. And there's a burst of heavy snow now developing here from Menominee County through west central Shawano County down into Wapaka County and western Outagamie County. Looks like snowfall rates at about an inch per hour within this band and that is sliding east, probably clipping the northern Fox Cities and moving through the Green Bay Metro. We have additional snow out here across west central Wisconsin that is also going to be moving towards the east northeast as we head through the evening hour. So once again, a dusting to a couple of inches across the area over the next several hours. Here's the storm now pulling away from Wisconsin behind it. Frigid air across the northern plains is set to move back into the Badger State. That'll happen later on tonight and by tomorrow, even with lots of sunshine, high temperatures will struggle to reach highs in the upper single digits. And of course, you got to factor in those gusty winds tomorrow morning. Westerly winds at around 15 to 25 miles per hour will drop wind chills down into the 20s, close to 30 degrees below zero. Lots of sunshine once again on Saturday, high pressure in control. The clouds will eventually move in Saturday night and then on Sunday, here comes some more snow, although it does not look like a big system, probably a dusting to a couple of inches, but stay tuned <laughs> tonight. Snow ending later on this evening. It's going to become windy and frigid overnight lows around zero. Hazardous traveling will continue throughout the night into tomorrow morning. Once again, all that slush is really going to freeze up with temperatures dropping down to around zero. Mostly sunny tomorrow, windy and frigid highs only in the single digits. Wind chills will be in the teens or 20s below zero pretty much all day long. 12 below Saturday. Saturday morning, a high of 10 in the afternoon, some light snow on Sunday, a high of 20 sun and clouds on Monday, highs in the mid 20s. A bigger system comes through on Tuesday, producing the potential for significant snow across the viewing area once again. And then behind that system, maybe a lingering snow shower Wednesday morning, followed by a mixture of sun and clouds on Thursday, which of course is Valentine's Day. So if you can stay home this evening, do it. Why not? Yeah, Enjoy why not? Enjoy a nice uh, dinner with the family. <laughs> Watch well, some TV. Yeah. <laughs> if only. But you did mention that people, if they do go home late, that they should shovel out their driveways and sidewalks. Yes, I would take care yeah. of it this evening, not push it off towards tomorrow okay. because it's, you know, it's sleet, it's freezing rain, it's it snow. Nice. And with temperatures down to around zero, I mean, it's going to turn into a yeah. block of ice and that's going to be very difficult to move tomorrow morning. It's going to be a busy night for a lot of people. It will All right, be. Cameron, yeah. thanks for that. Up next.